In this video, we will describe how to capture electronic fingerprints. Capturing an acceptable set of fingerprints is vital to the personnel security vetting process. Submitting an unacceptable set of fingerprints to DCSA will slow down the security investigation process and may result in having the security investigation request returned. This video will demonstrate some helpful tips to ensure success when you capture a candidate's fingerprints and illustrate common errors that you may encounter while using an electronic fingerprint scanner. For specific procedures on your fingerprint scanner, talk to your local subject matter expert or SME or follow the system manufacturer instructions. Here are two helpful tips before you begin the actual fingerprinting process. First, make sure that the scanner is calibrated correctly. Most scanners will let you know when calibration is required. Ask the SME or review the system manufacturer instructions for details on how and when the scanner should be recalibrated. When meeting with the subject, have them provide you with their name, social security number, date of birth, and place of birth, and if the subject was born in the United States, you must obtain their state of birth. Upon verification of the information from the subject, enter the required information into the database. Before taking fingerprints, let's look at the fingerprint process. There are three major types of fingerprint patterns that you will encounter. These are loops, whorls, and arches. Your primary objective is to ensure that you capture the center of these patterns when fingerprinting and that the fingerprints are of sufficient quality, exposure, and contrast to ensure the prints are processed correctly. There are two types of fingerprints the slaps, and the rolling print. A slap occurs when you press the fingers down on the printing surface to capture the image. A rolling print occurs when you roll the finger across the printing surface. When taking slaps, try your best not to exceed a 45 degree angle. Ensure that all fingers are flat on the surface and the center of the print is captured. When taking rolling prints, ensure that you roll from the nail edge to nail edge and make sure that the finger stays in contact with the surface throughout the entire roll. To avoid smudging, lift each finger up after rolling. Most scanners will compare the slap to the rolling print method, and some scanners will even score this method. If your scanner scores this method, remember that the lower the threshold, the higher likelihood the prints will be rejected from the system. Now that you have learned the calibration techniques, entered the required information, learned fingerprint patterns, and the types of fingerprints, it's time to start fingerprinting. Items such as hand lotion, a small spray bottle filled with water, ridge builder lotion, and paper towels will help to capture the fingerprints easier. Hand lotion should be used when the subject's hands are dry, and ridge builder lotion should be used to add definition and clarity to fingerprint ridges. Other items, such as a spray bottle, allows you to moisten or clean off the subject's fingers, and paper towels can be used to dry off the subject's fingers. Other items, such as glass cleaner or a scanner-specific cleaning kit, will ensure the scanner is kept clean and tidy. For additional guidance, check with the manufacturer for additional suggestions. Common fingerprinting errors will be discussed next. Not every fingerprint you take is going to be perfect. Here are a few common errors that you may encounter and some simple techniques to fix errors that may occur. Slippage. This happens because the finger is too moist or if the finger was rolled too quickly. To fix this error, dry off the fingertip and slow down the roll. Roll not wide enough. This happens because the roll was stopped prematurely or if the finger lost contact with the surface of the scanner. If this error occurs, try again and ensure that you roll nail edge to nail edge and ensure that you have contact with the fingerprinting surface. Poor image quality. This happens because the finger is too dry or if little to no pressure is applied to the finger. If this error occurs, spray the finger with a little water and apply more pressure to the finger through the roll. Incorrect finger. If you receive this error, ensure you have the correct finger that the scanner has requested. If you continue to receive this error, 
try retaking the slaps. Poor minutia. If you receive this error, you have applied too much pressure while taking the fingerprints or the ridges and valleys of the finger are too close for the scanner to identify the image. If you receive this error, retake the image and apply less pressure to the fingers. If you believe the error is due to the composition of the candidate's fingerprints, try spraying the fingertip with a little water. Apply just enough pressure to see the print image and then roll the finger very slowly. The image will darken through the exposure as opposed to the pressure. Missing fingerprint. If you received this error, ensure that you captured all the fingerprints. If you simply missed a finger, go back and recapture the missing digit. If the candidate is missing a finger, consult with your SME to understand how the scanner annotates this instance. Despite all your efforts, sometimes you may not be able to capture the fingerprints successfully. If you continue to receive unacceptable images, review your agency's policy before you decide to override the image. Using these helpful tips will ensure that you take the best fingerprint images in the least amount of time. To recap, remember the following. Ensure that the scanner has been calibrated. Ensure that all of the required information has been entered correctly. Ensure that all the fingers are flat for the slaps. Ensure that the rolling prints are taken from the nail edge to nail edge. Finally, remember that all scanners have different procedures. For specific procedures on your fingerprint scanner, talk to your local SME or follow the system manufacturer instructions. Take a moment to think about all of the tools and techniques that were presented in this video. Based on the information presented, you now have all the information you need to capture fingerprints successfully. If at any time you need a refresher, please review the video again.